Hello, and welcome to Supernatural Lifeline Revelations. I'm your host, TNT, Prophetess Tara Nicole Tarver, throwing out this amazing Lifeline. We've been talking with Lifeline TNT Worship because we've had an overwhelming response to our new release, Ahava. This project has brought so much light to us that people are saying, where are these people coming from? What are they doing? Who are they? You know, and I love to introduce all these amazing people that I work with that God is privileged to actually bring in my life and what music has done. Music is really such a avenue that'll reach people in their hearts. It can transform their thinking. It can insert something into their mind forever. And it can literally bring about an outcome that they didn't even see coming. And what we've done with these projects has literally been able to transform um, cultures and it's been able to touch people. And what I like is it's able to touch people who would have never even listened to the Bible or come to church, they want to hear their music. I was literally uh, in Florida, and a young man came. Skylar Rose and I were there. Skylar Rain and I were there, and we were with my sons. And I just finished preaching, so Skylar brought my sons out, and we were here. We are just in the pool, but we have the little, you know, JBL playing. This guy comes off the harbor, was like with his phone, like as she's trying to Shazam, and he's like, "Yo, where?" is this song, like, I need to download this. This is so good. And I was like, oh, that's her. He's like, no S-H-I-T. <laughs> He's like, F word A, this is amazing. Like, are you kidding me? And I was like, yeah, look her up on YouTube. He's like, oh, wow, this is so cool. And he's like, where can I get this song? I was like, it's not out yet. <laughs> That hasn't been released. We're like, next week it's going to be released, but Will was busy and we didn't get it out. And we were like, ah, we got to hurry up and get this song out. And so literally, um, Late Nights has just like been loved by so many. And um, I love that because it's reaching the calling that we wanted to do is reach people through music and, you know, sing into their life. And uh, I didn't have that talent to sing. I'm a preacher. <laughs> I preach. I didn't know I could write, but I write. Uh, I have a knack in the ear for music, and I know what sounds right and what doesn't sound right, and I know when things should go together, and I can tell when something is going to be a hit, whether it be prophetically or, or just, just by discernment, you know, which is still prophetic, me using my gift. And so it's people like you guys that make everybody who wants to sing, and a person like me, that makes our dreams come true, and they never see your faces. I want you to welcome and give an amazing applause for Greg Edwards and God's Will. You guys, like, I feel like producers don't get the credit that they deserve because you see the person, like, they see me with the mic, but I have a whole team that helps me, you know. Uh, literally, that's why I was like, even on the, on the cover, I was like, we have to include you because you don't see too many producers yeah, on the rare. cover with the artist. Yeah, yeah. But the truth is we have nothing if we don't have you guys. And uh, I, Skylar Rain introduced me to you at first. God's will, I fell in love with you and your music. And I just, your talent, and your ability to be able to make so many different genres. I was like, we need a, we need a Spanish one. Like you gotta come on. I was like, oh, he's so fly. This is amazing. And you're able to capture the vision and I really loved it, and you fit right in with the team, and it was so great to have you. Yep, yep. thank you. Thank you, yes. I bet you didn't know what we were doing at first and Skylar contacted you. Had no clue. <laughs> had no clue what God was going to do, you know, through this connection we had. Yeah. So then what happened? Like, how did it start building? Like, when you're like, when you realize, like, oh, like, we're, like, really doing something. This is a little different than what people did just want me to make music for them, and I never, they pay me and never see them again. No, well, <laughs> I've been praying to God like for at least you know two or three years like god i want a team i want to be part of something you know really i want to be yes yes and i remember meeting sky and i was like i was like okay you know this might be the way maybe i i gotta start this moving you know so i started me and sky started working together and you know and the rest is history i mean just the things that you've been able to accomplish within two months <laughs> Short, work, short time, yeah, right? like you. And I'm funny, like, I'm a stickler to, like, I am a loyalist. Like, I don't like to, like, bounce around to people. 
I like, if I love you and I got you, I'm working with you, I'm rocking with you, you know? And so she was like, hey, I know this guy, his name is Will, he goes by God's will, and like, he's really fire. And I was like, Skylar, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Calvin did an amazing job. I'm not really sure about this God's will, but I like the name. <laughs> and it just so happened that like Calvin was really, really, really busy and Sky was like, she runs with me. She can run with me, you know? You can't run with everybody that can keep up with you. And she's like, Will can do this. Will can do that. I was like, okay, well, give him a shot. And I think the first one was like, I'm bothered, came back really amazing. Like, the, the, it was so good. And you made it exactly what it needed to be. And I was like, and then the next one and the next one, I was like, wait a minute. What is going on here? Talent and and it was just so awesome. When did you start producing and when did you know that you wanted to be a producer? Well, um, I started producing when I was like about 15 years old. And uh, just my dad, he was in the radio, uh, Latin radio kind of industry. So I just remember him taking me to a studio and just walking inside the studio and I'm like, what's this, what's this? And after that, I just never looked back. That's when I just fell in love with the studio. Really? <laughs> no, yes, yes. Um, oh my goodness! You're gonna love our new studio when we open it. I'm excited. It. I'm oh, excited. Yeah, like, no time limit know. or nothing. Just yes, like no time great. limit. Because you, you know, right? you guys probably work best. I found that creative people like yourself work best at night. Oh yeah. That's true. yeah that's and like when everybody's quiet, when everybody's shut down, all of a sudden. So if you have a container like on time limit, that's not gonna work well for creative people. You have to give it a good environment, you know, so you can actually flow. Uh, I really, when I went to your Instagram, I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, he is so multifaceted. And I was like, and on, on that, like, you can rap, you're singing. I'm like, you're doing this. It's yeah, great. Latin, yeah. Well, I worked a, a while, a, for a long time, I was working in this, uh, the Latin industry, which, you know, me and my friend started a record label and we started kind of blowing it up. Of course, it had nothing to do with, you know, ministry. It was just, producing and I I mean I always knew that I had to you know my calling was for the Lord right yeah. but I just started working with a bunch of Latin artists and you know we got it you know we just got so deep into that world the next thing you know I was like writing songs for like cartels and stuff like I would get hired and you know it just you know everything kind of fell apart and it kind of came to my heart like hey man if you build you know your house on the rock you know when the storms come you know it will be steady and and obviously when I was in the world doing all this stuff, you know, I just kind of went deep into that and, you know, I just one day woke up and I said, you know what, that's it. I'm just going to serve you, Lord. Like, I'm mm. just going to go all in just for you. Like, I want to have the biggest Christian label there is, the biggest Latin Christian label, uh, yes. rap, hip hop label, English, you know, I just... And ever since, because I, I know that if I'm building on this foundation, which is the rock, right? Like, I know if st eventually storms are going to come, and and it, it's not going to knock me down like it did in the, in the world when I was building for, you know, for, like, cartels, building for, you know, other, you know, it's just, the industry is a very shady industry, and it, we it all really know is. it. <laughs> it. It really is. And so I love the fact that you, you're like, I'm going to build my house on something that is stable and can stand, you know? But what I like is that you brought... The thing that I feel that a lot of Christian music was missing, mm -hmm. you brought that with you, and that's what we hear in the music, that you can hang along mainstream, and they don't even know that this is, like, this is different. Yeah. It shouldn't be a difference. Yeah. We shouldn't sound less than. Come on, we serve the mighty God. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And I love what you bring, and uh, oh, my goodness, let me tell you, which hasn't even come out yet, 300 <laughs> is fire. Thank you. Like, you captured my epic vision that I needed to display what we're going to display. And so I'm looking, you know, at the animation part of it, of how we're going to make it make sense and people can feel the feelings and have the understanding they need to have. But you, you on the music part, you did your thing. Like, you, you really caught that. And I love how you're able to really hear something and know the direction. I really feel like it's a gift from God, the Thank way you. you're able to really bring that to light the vision of the heartbeat of what people really do need to and want to hear. Yes. No, thank you. Yeah, definitely the way you, you cast your vision is like you're so artistic. You're pretty much, you know, art, walking art. You wow. Know? So when you paint art, the pictures, I mean, we're like, that's how I see everything. I see everything I produce like a movie. Yeah. So when they, they tell me your heart, 
I kind of just see the same movie, or, you know, and just like, wow, this is the movie she painted. And it's a total movie screen. Yeah, it is. And so, it is. you know, pretty soon we'll be looking at some of our stuff more on screen, and that's like the next phase is like really putting out these videos and, yeah. you know, making sure we have the right cameras, the lighting is right, like, and the editing is excellent, yeah. and God's going to send everything that we need. Yeah. Now, you, Greg, as oh, a producer, great. oh my goodness. Um, Legendary. Just meeting you was a blessing. Um, when you came, even to encounter to come and help, you jumped in and you helped us. I love that. And I, um, I didn't. I liked that I loved you before I knew that you were like who you were. <laughs> and I feel like so honored the fact that we have you. The fact that you're so talented that you've had two Grammy nomina nomina nominations um, by American singers. You also being a songwriter, a producer. I, I've listened to you many a times up late night on on IG, like playing. And the fact that you've worked with uh, Jonathan McReynolds, uh, Molly Music, her, Neo, uh, Kim Burrell, you know, Erica Campbell, uh, Jordan Sparks, Dr. Dre, uh, Jen, is it Aniko? Aniko? It's Aniko. I always say the name wrong, but I like, I like, I like her with Molly Music. I was like, hey, Keisha girl. Cole. Hey, girl. Keisha Cole. Ke now, the latest one with Keisha Cole. Oh, my goodness. Um, I Don't Want to Be in Love. Like, that's your newest single that you got to co-produce. Um, and you've been able to do so much, and literally, you believing that a, get, a man's gift will make room for him, that you'll be present before. You know, King, as the Bible said, it will present you. Well, because even if they don't like you, you got to respect my gift, you know. And, and, and the point is, is that, like, you've really been able to do it with so many people and cross pollinate, which I feel like this is good because. Literally, they're like, oh, make my song for me. But they're getting the love of Jesus. They're getting the, the, the heart of God. And, you know, you find yourself, like, really bringing heart of God to people. And I, a lot of people really said, like, oh, you know, you sound too much like the world. I'm like, what does the world sound like? This right. is music. This is God's music. Right. This is, he created chords. Are you kidding me? Like, we don't know. You can't. So who are you to say? Justify. You can't justify that. You know, there's some Christian music that isn't even really godly. I said that, like, I meant that. Like, Lord, don't move my mountain. Give me the strength to climb. Like, that's not biblical. He says, speak to the mountain, command it to be removed and cast into the sea. So that is not a biblical song. You know, oh, the angels in heaven are going to sign your name. They don't sign your name. Like, I mean, th like, there's nowhere the Bible says it, that these angels are signing your names. But I'm saying, like, we, we just sing these songs a lot of times. And we're and, and because it says Christian doesn't mean it's Christian. There's a lot of songs that are or songs that are mainstream that aren't actually titled Christian, but I found myself one day, I walked into this store and um, what's her name? Um, Leanne Rhymes was playing and it was over the loudspeaker and it, I was like, oh Jesus. I was like, oh, and I could hear it for him. And then, you know, like even let me love you, Lord, until I learn to love myself, God. You know, I was just like, Lord, I can hear him in music because he is music. He loves music. They sing before him 24-7. We got music from him. And I feel like you guys really um, sometimes are overlooked. I feel like you take a lot of hits, too, for what you create, you know, even though on the back end they don't know that, like, God is using your gift. This is a gift from God. And every singer in the world needs you guys. When did you know, um, it's, uh, your aunt actually helped you yes. get started? My auntie started, I, I, she was like over us as young men. How old were you? I was probably 10, 11. And she just like, you, she what, was, like what was the first know. instrument that you played? Oh, oh thank you. Keys. I was keys? playing keys you were as doing the keys? first instrument, yeah. No, actually I was playing drums. Drums. She, she, she told me I was, the drum, I was a drummer first. I was like, oh. You know, being a little kid, you don't remember what you started off with. But right. she told me, yeah, you started off on drums. I was like, that makes sense because I love drums. Yeah. I love drums. That's awesome. So, yeah, so I think I was like, so I was. I started, I, I found my love for music as a keyboard player around five. Mm -hmm. I was singing around five. I started loving music. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I started playing the the keys around six or seven. Professionally, I started around 14. So yeah. Wow. And then drums earlier. So in your 14. professional career, where did that start to take off? When? How? 
Oh, how? Did you uh, work with some people that really, man. everyone in that first group really took off to do some dynamic <laughs> yes, things. Can you yes, tell us yes. who are some of the people you worked with and what happened with you guys? Um, well, Keisha Cole was, like you said, the, re the most recent. Before that was, before her, which was crazy. I think it was the, the month before it was her, the singer her. Mm. And so I, I started working with, no, I'm sorry. I started working with Keisha Cole in September. Then right after that, I think in October, I started working with her. But that was like one one session. But the point is, it was a great one session. One session. So, yeah, yeah I was doing that. And then just the other people throughout the years. And Neil uh, was definitely last year. the you worked with, too. Yes. Yeah. How did, like, oh, those the band. guys, your band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They went on to do some the Shack great band. Things. Oh, yeah, we was traveling. Um, we, that, my auntie started that group in 2001. And so from 2001 until like 2012, we were traveling, singing everywhere, and a lot of big church. We sung at the Crystal Cathedral here, wow. yes, and I, wow. at, on a Saturday. And I was really shocked. It was 9 in the morning, and it was over 3,000 people there on a Saturday. Wow. I was like, what? And that, that really blew me away because it's a Saturday. And y'all in church in, on, at 9 in the morning. So <laughs> that was an honor to do that. And then... God is man. God has been so good to me. I've been through a lot. I was yeah. born with spinal bifida, scoliosis, a lot of different uh, health things. Of course, I wasn't supposed to walk when I was a kid, but uh, the devil tried to, you know, make me look like that. But God turned around and said, "No, I'm gonna give him a gift." Uh, and He gave yes. me man. So I'm Lots just grateful. Them, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're so gifted, so talented. Thank you I'm so just much. an honor that we even got you to, to uh, do nah. and produce I appreciate some music it. with us. I was like, honored. Come on. I, man, I appreciate y'all. You. I hope you're going to come back and do some more. Oh, I yeah, love of you. course. We, oh, you yes, have of to, course. You, I mean, just if you wanted anybody to know anything about you, what would you want them to know? Um, I think I would say, uh, really, as far as something that I would share, mm -hmm. mean, mainly, is to stay humble. Yeah. Um, keep God first. Stand on Proverbs 18 and 16, which says a man's gift will make room for him. Mm. Your gift will make room for you. You don't have to chase nothing. Everything I've ever done uh, from working with Warren Campbell, Erica Campbell, to everybody, Julian Marley, I didn't mention him. I work, I work with Julian Marley, Jonathan Morenos. God has opened the door for me to be hit up by these people, mm. or they, whether they saw me on Instagram or heard about, or, you. Or yeah. heard about me. Yeah. yeah. Or word of mouth. Amen. It's, I've never chased anything. And I think as Christians, in people, period, in the kingdom, you're never supposed to have to chase anything. Mm, it's like going to be given to you. Let it find me, let it come to you. That's right. It's good. It's going to be given to you. Well, what would you, have you had to, like, turn down a project and then, like, no, nah, God is not leading mm. me in this direction? You, either one of you guys, both of you, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, I, did I have to turn something down? Yes. Because it was... It was a few times where things were just like, first of all, if my spirit didn't feel right, because mm -hmm. I'm very uh, discerning. So if I feel like I, I don't feel right about something, I don't like confrontation, so I'll probably send you a text or <laughs> my best friend, though. No. I'll probably <laughs> send you a text or uh, I'll just have to tell you in some type of way, yeah, I can't do this. Right. And of course, they'll get mad because they don't understand why you, what did I do? It doesn't matter. If I don't feel right about it, I can't do it. That's good. That's really and good. And God honors I mean, I'd be integral about it. Yeah, you, you gotta know, be integral. Always. What about you, Will? Same, uh, same uh, picture here too. That I always go led by the Holy Spirit. Yes. So you know, yes. sometimes you know, you just it's not meant to be. You know, you're not meant to work on that project. And just tell them, hey, I was led by the Holy Spirit not to work on this yeah. project. So you know, they're probably like, ah. Like, but it, but, it, but it's, it's not that it's it's just not for you to work on. I'm sure there's another avenue yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Mm. Oh, I want to say, too, yes. that, yes, God is going to call you to go into um, arenas where it's not necessarily church-proof. Absolutely. And people, again, another thing my best friend used to tell me, stop abandoning your assignment. Mm -hmm. He used to always tell me that. Stop mm -hmm. abandoning your assignment. Mm -hmm. And my assignment is a lot of times, that's why God shows it to me, around secular artists. Mm -hmm. Because... They, they, we're going to be the Jesus they see. Absolutely. And a lot of people don't really agree with that. Oh, yeah. if, they're in religious, if they're religious. But how does the Bible say, I'll become all things to all men that I might yes. save some? And then, yes. they, like, if, if, if you have no Christian models, 
how are they going to reach the models? Like they have exactly. no Christian, sec, you know, they call them secular dancers, but they're right. dancing. Um, you know, then how are they going to not get, how are they going to get saved? If you don't have anybody in the industry, uh, I was even reading how, who was it that um, Kanye West was saying like, uh, that I can't remember his name, but one of the guys came and ministered to him and kept ministering to him and kept ministering to him. And then you look at like the Justin Beavers right now yes, and exactly. people are like, he needs to put all his music down and renounce it. No, he does not need to stop that. Maybe preach, there's some things like, preach. even when I went to the, um, you know, in Prince, the late Prince, his latter days, he had that like whole month of music at the, um, the forum. Yeah. And I went to one of his concerts, wow. but he, in your older age, you changed. He yeah. wouldn't sing some of the songs that were like, he felt didn't give glory to God. Wow. So he I only sang, because there were children there, there yeah. were families, yeah. there were kids. It was only like $25 for a ticket. Yeah. And he did that, but it was, you could see the growth in a person where they're like, wow. I can't bring this yeah. to them. You have to let people be able to grow. Yeah. You have to allow people, and you're not there. You know, you're not the person that you can't do this. You can't do yes. this. You can't stop that. Renounce this. Like Justin and and like, yeah, they they can. I oh I know. I, oh my goodness, Jaira has yes. been on repeat. Yes. Jaira yes. has been on repeat. Chandler is winning right now. Right. I just want to say oh, that. It's Chandler winning. is winning, and Justin Bieber. I know he needs that. Absolutely, and, and I believe this is this this is what this team is going to do. With TNT, yes, yes, I think we're we're that. Yes, yes. we're that. Yes. I think we're in a bridge. That's gap. how I feel. Yes. Like when I'm with you, I'm like we're going to infiltrate, and yes. infiltrate. we're going to God is going to you know use yes. us like yes. you know as we could be in a park creators. and set up and set up and yes, just start right. singing. And our own, they're like, who is this and what is this yes. at the beach or whatever? And it may not be what people think. They're like, I don't I don't understand. Like, yeah, it is what it is. And you have to listen to even some of the words to realize, like, you know, even like, get it, bestie. People didn't realize. They're like, get it, bestie. Yeah, get it. Wait, what? Fire. He called my best friend has power from God. Mm -hmm. My best friend just bust the whole squad. What? <laughs> what is going on here? But you were already sucked in before you even got to that part. Yes, you know, and and just uplifting music yes. and it gives yes. glory to God. And, you know, it's I, it isn't like every but I, everything out there. But we did add the gospel yeah. aspect in. Yes. We added the the the, the, yeah. C, the guy. This guy told me I was a CCM. Yes, yeah, I, I was like, what's a CCM? Yeah. I was like, the pastor <laughs> told me I was a CCM. I was like, what is a CCM? And he, was, I was like, oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, I like CCM too, and yeah. I like gospel, yeah. and I like gospel rap, mm -hmm. and I like like I like all this. I, I'm with that. Mm -hmm. I like some country up in there too. Yeah, like, too. don't I trip. Like, like, I like my my, my Latin yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. hey, come on, come on. you know, I'm like, let's do this. That you know, and I really love that. You know, kind of like one of my favorite songs is a mixed song with Spanish and English was by Tone. Oh yeah. Boy oh, alado, boy yeah. 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 alale. Yeah. And he had Sheila E. And yeah. she was jamming on. And I I, that was my workout jam. And yeah. I would just be like, oh, I love yeah. this song. And I like want to do so much like that that just pulls people yeah. in. They don't even know what it is. You know, by the time you figure out what it is, it's already sucked in and it's already in your head and you have something that wants to keep wow. hearing this. Yeah. And if you're going to listen to our whole CD, then you're going to get a whole lot of love. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a whole lot of God. Oh, you're going to yeah. get a whole lot of Everything. inspiration. Everything. You know, you're going to get the truth and you're going to see you're gonna that lie, like, you're gonna cry. I, yeah. seriously, it's a yeah. lot. I was like, it is, I said it was praise, mm -hmm. worship, and warfare. Yeah, exactly. You know, no, nah, I'm having a hard time right now and I'm going to listen to power. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time, you know, you already know about the outcome, yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah. I win no matter what. You need to hear that inspiration, you know, just turning your feelings around to see the positive, you know. Yeah. And so uh, I really love that you guys help to bring this, you bring everything to life. There is no project without you Truly humble. two Truly and humble. Calvin pulling your talents, your abilities, your skills, we don't know how to bring those things to life, and it's you guys. And um, you guys are our un un unsung heroes that we need to sing about today. So I just wow, like, from my heart, I just thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, um, thank you. It's getting better and bigger all the time. I mean, and to think it hasn't even been a year since we put our first one out, we've done three. Wow. And we were already talking, oh, wow. so we're doing a Christmas one. We, I talked to you, we talked to you guys about the Christmas hey. one. And, um, you know, the Lord was just talking to me about us releasing some things that, like, the things that stick with people. 
Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the spirit yeah. will give you what sticks, like happy birthday songs. Oh, yeah. And the anniversary songs mm. and the Christmas songs. Yes. Yes. And, like, the introductions of, like, I'm coming in hot, <laughs> you know? Yes. You know, it's like, we on fire, like, type stuff, you know? Those type of things that get in the heart of people that touch an entire nation. And that's what I look forward to I see us doing yes. on these these next yes. mini go round. Count me in. Oh, yes. Man. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. my goodness, you guys. I've been here with God's will and with Greg. You got look, these two have just been such an inspiration. Please follow them on social media, connect. They have been producing for us. Uh, along with Calvin Winbush, yeah, and yeah, they yes. are the heartbeat and the backbone of what we do. And Humble. we would be nothing without them, and their stories matter, their lives matter. I look forward to seeing God develop so much for you guys and Bless as we you. grow. I really appreciate Thank having you, you so guys much. today. So be sure and go download our music with Lifeline TNT yeah, Worship. Yeah. I'm Prophetess Taryn Nicole Tarver, TNT, Dr. TNT, Mama T. They call me so many things, but you can just call me Prophetess T on my IG. So <laughs> I got little bars right there, you know. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.